So this is the anchor ice that froze from the bottom of the stream up and now the stream has broken over the top of the anchor ice. And shortly I'll get up to a place here. Uh, maybe you can see it on the far side right now. I'm not too sure what you're going to better see, but there's, you can see ice underneath the water on the far side there. Now I'm coming up to a place here where if you look down through the water, you can see the ice on the bottom. And they said it forms dams. That's one of the dams right there. They said that during the day, the water will break through the dams and it will reform overnight. So here's a place where you can see the water flowing over on top of the uh, ice that's on the bottom. And upstream a little bit here, uh, you can see another of the dams that formed. Let me go over here on the other side of the car. And so uh, this is another place where a dam had formed. And at the moment, rather than the water going over on top of it, it has burrowed through underneath. But you can also tell that the stream is extremely full. You know, it's up bank to bank. And we haven't had that much rain or runoff. So you can tell that there's something funny happening. So basically underneath the flowing water, there's ice, which forces the uh, water to come up over the ice that's underneath. I would never believe there was anchor ice, but hey, seeing, seeing is believing. Uh, here's another place. Oh uh, yeah, I can tell that you better tell in the movie that there is, you know, the ice is actually formed down on the bottom and the water is flowing over on top of the ice that's down on actually the bottom of the stream. So that's our uh, nature treat for the day. I'll be signing off.